you've installed the creation kit, now what happens? Well, you have to figure out what your mod's going to do. Everyone had to start somewhere, even the best modders. Let's start simple, adding things into the world, because who would complain at getting a fat man outside Vault 111? With your mod loaded in the creation kit, you will see all the records are split into categories inside of the object window. Actors is the NPCs that you'll find around the world, and also creatures that are in there. You have quests, which control a lot of the content in the game, not just quests, but also perks and other things like that. And you have weapons, activators, which are things like buttons, switches, and anything that the player can interact with. And static is things such as your walls and stuff for the actual world. Let's find the fat man in the weapons section, which is right here. If we double click it, we can open it up and we'll see information about the fat man. And you can see the model here. So what we'll do is we will add this just outside of Vault 111. Different parts of the game are made up of world spaces and each of those are split into cells. So in the cell view window, you can see we have this world spaces drop down. So interiors is the inside of buildings. Commonwealth is the main map of the game. Diamond City is the stuff inside Diamond City. Good Neighbor is obviously in Good Neighbor. And Sanctuary Hills World is the pre-war sanctuary. So we are going to choose Commonwealth. And in this filters, we are going to type in subscribe, I mean sanctuary. So we'll click on Sanctuary EXT, so exterior. And you can see we are in sanctuary now. So you can move around this window by middle clicking your mouse and just dragging. If you hold shift, you can rotate the camera. Be careful not to move anything that is in here because you will make changes that you don't intend on. And we are gonna go over to Vault 111, which is over here. Middle click and drag to get across there. And what we want to do is just, if you scroll the scroll wheel, you can zoom in. So I'm going to just come around here and I will put our fat man in the world just by these crates. So we're going to take the fat man and drag it. And as you can see, it's there in the world now. I can click it. If I press W, I get a widget that allows me to rotate the item on the X, Y, and Z coordinates. If I click W again, I can get rid of the little gizmo. If I press Z, I can raise it up and down. If I press X, I can move it along the X. And if I press C, I can move it along the Y. If I press F, it will drop to the bottom. So it'll try and find the ground. There we go. We have a fat man just in the world here. So if I come up to file and click on save, our mod has been saved. And if I load up the game, I should be able to find the fat man just outside of the vault. We are at vault 111 now, and if we come over here, here's our blue crates, and as you can see, there is our fat man ready to go. There we have it. That's your very first mod for Fallout 4. Good luck, everybody. I'll catch you in the next video.